When I woke up to the sound of criminals outside my house, I was terrified. It was pitch black and my wife was out of town. So it was just me and my daughter at home. I did what any other person in my situation would do in rural Canada. I grabbed my rifle, went outside, fired warning shots into the ground. After firing warning shots into the ground, the criminals ran away and I called 911. When the help finally arrived, they arrested me. I was treated like a criminal instead of the victim. And that needs to stop. In October, when we visited Ottawa to speak to the Public Safety Committee studying rural crime, it became evident to us through both the on and off record conversations with the Liberal members um, of the committee that they do not have an understanding, and more importantly, they don't have a desire to have the understanding of what's really happening in rural communities and the concerns for both us and the firearms community across the country. They peppered the doctor with questions about rural gun accidents and suicide rates in rural areas during their allotted question time, rather than asking quality questions regarding the main types of crime affecting rural areas, which are property crimes, um, thefts, robberies, and break and enters. The justice system isn't functioning. People don't feel safe, us included, and they sure aren't helping to make us feel any safer. The RCMP delivers world-class policing in national matters, but certainly here at home. But the crime reduction and the crime reduction task force that was established earlier this year has had a very strong impact, but we certainly need to do more. We need to do everything we can to keep dangerous repeat offenders behind bars. We need to focus on gangs using illegal guns. And we need to bolster the resources for our rural RCMP detachments. Rural crime levels are increasing, but staffing levels and resources are not. Rural residents are afraid and they're angry. They're afraid and they're angry because our justice system has become a revolving door. They are afraid and angry because the federal government has done nothing to respond to this crisis.